Here with third year head baseball coach Lane Burroughs. Coach, it's a busy week. Two midweek games, uh, conference play opens, crazy weather week from last week, which seems to have been our theme for the first couple of weeks. Uh, looking ahead, ULM tonight, uh, ULL tomorrow, a lot of ULs. Uh, let's take a look at the Cajuns because we're playing baseball here in the next eight hours or so, but it's a team you've already faced once. It's a team you've faced several times since you've been here. It's a program that I know you've got a lot of respect for and a program that really could be a blueprint for this university. Absolutely. And Tony got his uh, 1,000th win uh, last weekend against Alabama, and they went in there and took two or three from a good Alabama club. So they're, uh, they're kind of clicking on all cylinders right now. And we played them once. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't see much of the game. Uh, but uh, they, uh, they got a good ball club, and uh, we, we know we're going to go down there. It's always a a really tough place to play in Lafayette. They do a great job and their fans come out and uh, it'll be a good test for our guys. Like you said, it's five games this week with conference opening and a lot going on, but we need to play and uh, we're excited about just getting on the field and, and playing. We got a lot of rain this past weekend and yesterday, but uh, uh, it'll be sloppy, but we'll get out there. We talk about dominating the elements. So uh, we kind of take pride in that. and. Again, we're just looking forward to playing and, and getting league play kicked off this weekend. And uh, while the hitting is, is not where you want it to be, certainly the starting pitching this weekend, uh, Adam Aller, Josh Aller, Jeffrey Stilball, and really the pitching staff as a whole did a great job against uh, Sacred Heart, just two runs and 34 innings. Played 34 innings, and I think we used uh, five pitchers or six. Uh, Brandon Smith went twice, so um, we didn't use many pitchers. That, that means you're getting quality starts. Quality starts taking you into the sixth or seventh inning, and all of our guys, Adam took us in the eighth, Stovall and, and Josh took us into the ninth, and I uh, can't ask for anything more than that. Chase Email did a great job uh, coming in, and Brandon Stain did a great job. Uh, Brandon uh, Smith did a great job. Uh, I'm very proud of our pitching staff and what they did uh, this past weekend. We're throwing the ball really well. We're filling up the strike zone uh, with, with numerous pitches, and our hitting, our batting average isn't great, uh, but we it, we kind of subscribe to you hit the ball hard, you win, and you can't control sometimes where the ball lands. And uh, we, we barreled up some balls this weekend that we didn't get credit for hits. So uh, our guys are working hard. We worked extremely hard yesterday uh, in the cages uh, with some guys, and uh, we'll come around. It'll, it'll get going. We have good hitters. We believe in those guys. We're defending really well. Uh, we, we played very good defense this weekend, and the two double plays were huge in the extra inning games, back-to-back -back innings. And as long as we defend and we pitch and we got some clutch hitters, uh, we'll be okay. Going back to, you mentioned Chase Email. That's got to be a luxury from a guy who was a starter last year, can throw multiple innings out of the bullpen. And he showed it Saturday night going four and a third. And you've had a couple of guys go more than two or three innings in relief appearances this year. And it's kind of a bonus to have in that bullpen. Yeah, Chase is, uh, he's used to being used a lot. Uh, Delgado, he was their number one. You go back and look at his JUCO numbers. He threw a lot of innings there. They really used him a lot. And that does not bother him. He likes to throw a lot. And if have a guy out of the bullpen, you can extend, uh, go through the lineup once, maybe two times, and he can navigate through it. Um, and he's the one guy that uh, all our starters are righties right now. So you bring in a lefty that has electric stuff like he does, it gives them another look and they may have to make a move off the bench. So it, it's really good uh, what he brings to the table. And he's a competitor and he wants to be out there with the ball in his hand. So we're, uh, we're fortunate, we're glad Chase is on our side and uh, I'm looking for him to have a huge year. He's a newcomer, you've got a couple other newcomers playing key roles right now. David Fry has really been a spark the last couple of nights. And then uh, Brandon Stain and the performance he gave in the back end of that 16 inning game. It's two guys who, Sane was here last year, but not on the field, and David Fry was playing high school baseball at this time. Those two guys have kind of been a shot in the arm. David's a really good player. He's gonna be a great player for Northwestern State. He got a bright future ahead of him, and uh, we knew he would play this year. There was no uh, plans of redshirting him, and uh, he, putting him at second, he has just nailed down our defense. He's made some tremendous plays, and he swings the bat really well. Uh, he has an idea of the strike zone, and and uh, we're excited about him. Brandon Stain, he sat back and watched last year. Nobody likes to be redshirted. Uh, that's, you know, that's a given, but he, he took advantage of that, got better, and we put him in a very, very tough situation the other night, and he got right out of it. So, you, you know, he come in, the matchup was what we were looking for, what he offers to the hitter that was coming up, and we just kept him out there, and uh, he kept getting outs for us, got the two ground ball, double plays, and, and uh, can't say enough about Brandon and, and what he did this weekend. It's early March and we're talking about conference baseball. It's, it seems kind of strange, but it is here, or nearly here. You head to Lamar, uh, longtime rival in and out of the Southland. Uh, Jim Gilligan seems like he's been there forever. 
but a team that's had some up and downs and their, their ups have been high, their downs have been low. How do you prepare for a team that, that seems to be kind of all over the board? Well, Lamar always, we didn't play them last year until we got to the tournament and we got in a, a barn burner with them, a shootout, and uh, was able to hit a home run late in the game and win it. But uh, one thing about Lamar, and I've been competing against them for years, everywhere I've been, uh, they're gonna play hard. Uh, they do a great job and uh, they're going to bring it. They're not going to back down. And you know when you play Lamar, you're in for a fight. So uh, I don't really look much into how they've been playing. I know they've beat some good teams this year. And, and uh, just like us and everybody, trying to figure out who they are. I know they lost some key components last year. and uh, But they're still trying to figure it out. And it's early, and, but it's time to go. And uh, like you said, it doesn't seem like we should be playing conference baseball. But we're in the fourth week now of our season, which is crazy. And uh, we're just looking. Looking forward to going down there to Beaumont, competing against them, and uh, seeing what uh, opening weekend of league play has to offer. And you'll take a guy that swung the bat really well this weekend and chased Aldwell down there. We talked about it going into the ULM game, but he is, uh, you know, he he picked his average up almost 100 points this weekend, and no bigger hit than the 16th, 16th inning walk off. Extremely hard worker. I mean, he he works to master his craft every day. Uh, he's his own worst critic. Uh, if he wasn't so hard on himself, uh, you know, we get on him about that. But he, he gets down. He's a perfectionist, and uh, but he works extremely hard. And uh, he's a guy you want up there with a game on the line. And he came through the other night. He battled, fouled some pitches off. Guy was making some great pitches to him, and he got a ball up, and he drove it uh, to the outfield with a runner at third. And that's what we – he got beneath the baseball and put a good swing on it. But Chase is uh, – he's, he, he's where we are because of him uh, with a couple others. So. Uh, we expect him to keep swinging the bat good, putting in quality at bats for us. And uh, whether it's second base, third base, first base, or DH, uh, Chase will be in there and he'll uh, do anything he can to help us win. Excellent. Well, thank you, Coach. Thank you.